In this video, we're gonna talk about how to record desktop audio, like the audio coming from a YouTube video, on the M1 Max. Traditionally, on older Macs, you were able to do this with a plugin called Soundflower. You might be familiar with it. But when they made the Apple Silicon chips, the M1 and M2 chips, the developer who made Soundflower didn't update it. I don't know if they will. So you have to use a third party software in order to get your system to be able to do it. And as a bonus, I'll show you how I got the desktop volume controls to work on my keyboard, because when you go through the process of getting the desktop audio to work, you lose the keyboard controls. And I don't know about you, but I'm a bit obsessive with making sure that things work the way that I want them to work. And the keyboard controls not working was bugging me to no end. So I did find a solution. So in this video, I'll show you how to record desktop audio on the M1 Mac. All right, let's jump in. First off, I do want to point out that if you are on Mac OS version 13, known as Ventura or higher, then you will not need to go through the steps in this video in terms of installing a third party plugin to get desktop audio recording to work. It should just work natively as it says here on the obsproject.com website. So double check which version of the operating system you have by going up to the Apple about this Mac and you'll see right here. So I'm on version 12.5, which is obviously not 13 or higher. so. I will need to install a third party plugin in order to get desktop audio to work. So the way we do that is go to a search engine like Google, type in Black Hole Audio Mac, and then the top link, which is this existential.audio website, you can click that enter some information and then you'll be able to get access to the download. Once that's downloaded, open it up and go through all the steps to install it onto your system. It's pretty straightforward. And then we're not done yet. Now we have to go and create a multi output device. So do a spotlight search on your Mac, which is the little magnifying glass up here. Type in MIDI and then this audio devices panel will pop up and you'll be able to confirm that Black Hole has been installed on your system. And then you should also see a few other options uh, depending on the computer that you're working on. So I'm working on an M1 Ultra Mac Studio and I'm also using a Focusrite Scarlett 18 i 8 as like my sound card. That's where my monitors are plugged in. That's where my mic is plugged in. That's where my headphone is plugged in. So it's basically the sound card for my Mac and it connects to the computer with a USB cable. So we're not actually going to be using Black Hole uh, in this configuration. Instead, we're gonna go down to the plus and we're gonna create a multi output device. I already have one created here. So once you get yours created, you can click on the name and rename it to whatever you want. I would suggest though that you name it something like main audio device or main output or main sound device, something like that. In my case, I was using the Scarlett 18 i 8 as my main uh, output device and now I'll be using this one. So I changed the name to Scarlett 18 i 8 and then put main in front of it. So this will be the main output uh, sound device that I use. And then on the right here, you need to enable black hole so that it is selected on the new multi output device that you made as well as the other uh, device, whatever that may be. Let's say you're on a laptop and you aren't using some external device like a Scarlett uh, 18 i 8, for example, then you would just select the black hole and the Mac Studio speaker. Okay, so we have that set up now. We can close this and then you can open up whatever recording device you're going to be using for screen captures. In this case, we are using OBS. So to get this all set up, you create your scene and then you can go down to plus and you can select audio output capture. You can give it a name, hit OK. And then for the device, this is where you want to make sure that the black hole two channel is selected. You now will be able to record desktop audio on your M1 Mac. And with this setup, we'll now do a test. So you can go to like YouTube or something. Uh, in this case, we'll be using Epidemic Sound, which is where we get all our sound effects and music for our YouTube videos. So I'll play one of these and then we'll go back to OBS and you'll see that desktop audio is working. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward on how to record desktop audio on the M1 Mac before version 13. Now, I did talk about keyboard uh, volume controls and how if you go this route, you will lose the ability to change the volume using the keyboard controls. There is a solution I found, but it does cost a bit of money. It's like 40 or 50 bucks. And that is by downloading the sound source audio plugin. And then you go up to settings, preferences, go to audio, and then you can turn on keyboard volume controls, uh, super volume keys. From there on the main output, you can choose that multi output device that we created and you are good to go. 
If this video did help you, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. We have over 150 other filmmaking tutorials and how-to videos that you can learn from. So there's lots of content that you can go through. Thanks so much for watching this video and we will see you next time.